As the festive fixtures roll in, this is one of the last 13 matches I will be covering on the YouTube channel in 2024. So to play on a sort of 12 days of Christmas vibe, we're doing the 13 games of Gogsmas. Cringe if you want. Uh, I just thought, stuff it, we're going to go all Christmassy this year. We are so close to 12,500 subscribers, so if you've not subscribed already, what are you doing here? Uh, and yeah, please subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Today we're back in the John Hunter. It's been a while. Of course, I was at Easter Road on Tuesday night and watched a thrilling three each drop. I don't know what this head team has that they're capable of, but they're so inconsistent. So, prediction today, I think it's going to be a two each draw, but with the hope that we may maybe sneak a third in there. But it's a tough one to call because Hibs may be the bottom side. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me. Much for that goal to go in. Let's have really worked for that. Oh my god! Come on! contenders and you know it seems that everything that we were doing good at the start of the season has just been found out and uh, we're paying for it now because we don't really have a plan B and Hibs have snuffed out absolutely everything we've thrown at them I mean we've not even thrown that much either it's been a really poor first half and oh yes we are against Hibs and they are susceptible to the odd Hibsing um, it's hard to see that happen. Well, it's coming for the second half. Hopefully they remember they're actually playing a game of football here. Tony Watts on for the second half. He's yet to score since returning on loan. Oh, and Zach Robinson, oh. This will be interesting. Luke suspect to deliver his own game. This does not look any different. How many free headers you want? Thank <laughs> you. 
just no sign of actually any attacking intent at all. Surprise me, and Nicky Cadden scores us. He's gonna shoot. He's on target. Trying hard not to give the people what they want and give them a massive rant about how bad Motherwell were today. I try my best not to be the the dickhead that says, Oh, we were fucking shit. But on days like today, like that was cutting it very fine. It's on par with last season's 3 0 defeat in Dingwall in December on a Tuesday night, which I went up to. It's more disappointing because like we haven't been playing to our strengths since we lost at Hamden against Rangers the second time this season. But first and foremost I want to congratulate Hibs on their second away league win of 2024. That's some feat to only win two games in a, in a calendar year away from home uh, but that adds another bit of annoyance to me because when you're playing against bottom of the league who have won one game in 16 away from home, having won less games than San Marino in this football season, and you play one up front. Granted, our strikers aren't really firing on all cylinders right now, but surely you've got to go a bit more positive than the way Kettlewell sets up. He's come out and said, oh, blame me for everything. You can't just go and get papped 3-0 on your own turf against bottom of the league and just say, blame me. Like, there has to be actions after this sort of performance. Because it wasn't a performance. We were shit. We had no game plan whatsoever. And whatever Kettlewell was planning, like, it was completely steamrolled within, like, the first 10-15 minutes because Hibs took the game to us. And, in my opinion, from a Hibs perspective... They had the perfect away performance. They shut us up. They didn't allow us anything. Like, literally, we had no moves. It was just dumbfounding to watch. Like, I've never seen this season anyway. I mean, I've seen a lot of bad performances in my time uh, as a Motherwell fan. Like, I'm a seasoned pro in, in awfulness, if you want to say. But also, this doesn't come as a surprise because being a mother of fan, you're used to seeing a team that's struggling come to Far Park or we're going away to their venue and they end up putting in a really good performance and winning because we seem to be that team that everyone sort of bucks a trend with. Like, whenever someone's on a good run, we end up stopping that run and then whenever someone's dying for three points, oh, mother is the team you want to play. I've said that time and time again but that makes no excuse for such a shit performance we didn't have a shot on target until the 49th minute by that point we were 2-0 down uh, and it was our right back on his weaker foot also we hit the post when we were 3-0 down and by that point it was the game was over i mean 
I'd, I'd be happy to say that the game was over 1-0 because Hibs were the team in the ascendancy and I, I just didn't see a way around it. It's just like we were playing against an unstoppable force and that is weird considering the whole mood around Hibs this season and how poor they have been. I mean, I went to see them play on Tuesday night and I thought they were, they were okay and I, I think if they maintain this sort of a performance level, I mean, yeah, they were against Motherwell today, it's not really a high bar, but, like, if they're putting a performance like that on a regular basis, then I think they'll be okay. Usually I would be pissed off about a defeat, but today I'm just despondent, because it was, it was a despondent performance. We put in that sort of performance maybe once or twice a season. Hopefully I'm proven wrong that this could be a start of our annual, like, 10 plus match streak without a win because we were awful against Rangers we were awful against Ross County I wasn't even there but I just know we were we were poor and now losing 3-0 at home to Hibs who were bottom of the league had no momentum um, it's a kicker but I'm sure we'll bounce back. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I know a certain fan base will have, but uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go and crack on with the rest of my Saturday night. See you later, guys.